Okay guys, welcome back. I'm just going to use up that leftover paint from the last poll that I showed you, the cloud effect, which I'm so, so excited about. And my daughter came in when I was, when I paused it, because I said, Christy, come and look. Because I was so excited and she came running in and she goes, oh, mum, I love it. Can you do me one? I said, oh, I'll try and do one with a bit more purple for you, Christy, because the yellow really took over. So... I'm going to go again. Hopefully I've got enough paint and I'm going to see if I can cut down on these three here that have got the um, satin enamel in them, the orange, the yellow and the green, because those have got the satin enamel in them um, and that really takes over and well, the yellow really takes over. So start with some black. I'll put a little bit more black in this time actually, because I love that black center. Loved it. Oh my gosh. All right, now purple. I'm going to put a lot of purple in. She's a purple girl. Loves purple. So let's use all that up. Pretty much lost the blue in the last one. Hopefully I'm not going to go opposite now and, and have too many other colours and not have the cells because I haven't got as much yellow in it. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the yellow in. Oops. Blobby. I'm going to pour the yellow in from up high, I think, um, and just see if that makes any difference. All right, in with the blue. Blue really got lost last time. So let's pour all the blue in. And then I'm going to use probably half the amount of those colours that have got the satin enamel in them. Um, just have a look at the previous video if you if you missed it and you don't know what I'm talking about. Have a look in the previous video. I'll talk to you a little bit about it as I'm going, but probably not as in-depth as I did with the last video. So my yellow, green and orange have got the white satin enamel in them by Deco Art. Um, about a quarter, uh, sorry, about a third. One part satin enamel to three parts paint and then I've mixed all these paints three to one with my pouring medium and I've gone two parts flow troll one part liquitex and one part water I actually do think that the two parts flow troll is better than my earlier one of one part flow troll so this is my pouring medium and I've mixed it three parts pouring medium to one part liquitex basics in the liquitex basics as I said three parts paint one part satin enamel. Only in the yellow. I've mixed the yellow and the magenta to make the orange. And I've mixed the yellow and the blue to make the green. So these colours have got the satin enamel in them. And then there's the dioxazine purple. And the black is my Artist Loft black. And that black has got a little bit of the black satin enamel in it. Whether or not that makes any difference, I, I have no idea. I haven't experimented that much with it to know if the black satin enamel actually creates cells. Um, I didn't really see it in the last pour. I mean, I did get little yellow cells popping up through the black, but I think that's because of the white satin enamel in there. Yeah, I don't really know. If anyone knows, if you guys have experimented with the black satin enamel, let me know if you think it makes cells or forms, little formations. Okay, so now I've used all of those, the purple, the blue and the magenta. Now I don't want as much of the orange. I'm only going to put a little bit in of the orange. A little bit of the green because these ones were the ones that really took over. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the yellow in from up high. Just a little bit. Well, I think a little bit more went in than I was wanting, but I've got a little bit left. Okay, righto. So I'm going to do the three ring pours. Well, not ring pours. I'm going to do straight pours. Uh, where's my center? There's my center, and then I want one about here, and then I want another one about there. So I'm just going to pinch where the paint's poured in from and just straight out. So they're mixing as they're going onto the canvas. 
lots of bubbles coming up because I'm pouring so quickly. And let's catch that drip there. Woohoo! Oh, getting more magenta and, and um, you can actually see the blue this time. So let's hopefully it stays that way. Now the other ones, I, all, I poured from the same side, so I had the yellow on this side. So I'm going to still pinch there where I poured the yellow in, but I'm going to turn it sort of this way so that maybe the yellow is more on this side. And then the last one I might turn it around so that the yellow is more on the other side. So I'm getting a more of a bit of a a yellow streak through the center I guess because I've poured the yellow in from up high. I'm just going to walk that forward a touch just to get that little cute pattern. Catch that. So now the yellow is coming through here and that one's coming through here. The next one I think I'll pour from up here so that the yellow is more on that side just so that they are each different. How am I going to do that? I have to, so I'll pinch it there and I'm going to have to sort of pour this way so that the yellow's at the top there. Uh oh, a big blob went in. I don't know where I'm getting all these big blobs from. just kind of wiggled up and down. Did you see that? Just a little bit of interest. Sort of went like that. It's given me this. I like that. But they're all different. <gasps> Look at you. Hi. Now, last time I waited and waited for a lot of cells to come up and they were quite puffy. I don't know if I want to wait as long this time. Um... Yeah, that's looking really good. You can actually see the magenta. You can see the blue. Um, yeah, all right. Well, I'm going to let it sit for a bit, as I did with the last one. And I'm going to just, just a little bit. And I'm going to pop some black here. I've not much black left, but let's finish it off. Put on my corners. See, the, the black may well have helped with the cell creations on the edges. This black, as I said, it's got the black satin enamel in it. So it may have helped create those little tiny cells that I had across, um, you know, the sides because um, the paint's all running over the black. My daughter really loved the black negative space in the middle. So I've got more black in the bottom of the cups this time. So hopefully we'll get a lot more of that black negative space because as the paint sits, um, the yellow cells, you know, they start really taking over and you, they may sort of encroach a little bit on that black void in the centre. That's what she called it. Mum, I love the black void. <laughs> oh. So hopefully having more black in the centre uh, when the yellow cells do start encroaching, hopefully they won't take over the whole centre. What if I like this one more and I don't want to give this one to her, hey? I might. But hey, look, it's experimenting. Look how much he's grown. It's experimenting, seeing, you know, how much of each colour you like. I don't think I'll have time to do all of this, will I? Oh, hurry. I haven't torched yet. I should probably torch. Now I know there's a big blob in here somewhere. I saw it fall in from the cup. I might leave it just like that for now. I'm just going to torch and then I'll finish the other side. Um, where'd my torch go? Oh, here. I'm liking how I've got 
the yellow on the different sides of this ball just to add a bit of interest. That one's from there, that one's from there, that one's from there. Just to give it that little bit more interest. And I thought I was going to cut down on the amount of paint I used for this one, but I think I still ended up having three full cups, didn't I? I was hoping to sort of cut down a little bit so I didn't have to tilt so much off. I could have kept it on the surface and really stretched it, but I think I might have had a lot still on in my cups. I was trying for 600 grams instead of 700 grams this time, so just 200 in each cup. I didn't measure them, so who knows? I just used up my leftover paint. that I need to have a full base coat over the whole canvas. Um, I just put a little bit of black here, um, A, to help the paint flow across the edges and B, I'm hoping that the black satin enamel in this black paint will help create the cells on the edges. So that's my, my theories behind it. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of this paint here and do the sides just in case I don't manage to get over everything then my sides are covered with some black. Very therapeutic finger painting. The tools are really easy to use, you know, on the, the side here, on the top of the canvas, but once you're doing the edges, it's a bit more difficult, especially if you're in a hurry like I am now. I'm kind of hurry for you guys, so don't keep you waiting too long. So it's just easier doing this with your fingers. And this is a big canvas. This is a um, 16 inch by 32 inch, so it's quite big. Uh, 40 centimetre by 80 centimetre. Can't see around there, so hopefully I'm getting it. You guys tell me if I've missed it, won't you? <laughs> there we go. I think it's done. I think so. Wipe this before it dries. How's those cells coming? All right, so they are popping up beautifully. I think me pouring in my yellow from up high the yellow is blended more so I'm getting a lot more green more green cells all right let's do this I go the same way I did last time up to that corner first this paint's not moving here I wonder why It's just, so it doesn't want to move. Why are you getting stacked paint? Being difficult, aren't you? I liked what I did last time, so I'm going to go up to this corner first. I might not want to lose all of that off the side. I don't mind a little bit of black there for now. I want to keep the drama of the black. I'll come back down. See now this this is always a problem here. I've got this purple here, which I don't want to lose. But I've got a lot of black there. So I'm going to have to try and keep this purple. Otherwise, if it all goes, I'm just going to have that black. So I'm going to have to keep this purple as much as I can. Because Christy wants a purple pour. So I'll try, see it's rolling over itself, I'm kind of losing the purple, but I'm going to try and keep what I can of it. Back to the middle, 
Um, there's a bit of purple there on the edge and there's a bit there. It's creating some lacing, so I'll leave that. At least it's something, some purple there. Back to the middle. Off to this corner here. Again, oh look, I'm losing the purple. It's rolling over itself. Oh, that's a shame. I'm going to have to keep some of that. I don't want all that to go. I have to keep that. It's got little wispy, wispy purple bits. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I, I don't want to lose all that. Same here. I'm getting that lacing. Maybe I just had a bit too much black in my cups. Go over there. I'm going to keep that purple on the corner, that pinky purpley colour. See if we can hang on to as much of the purple as we can on this one for Christy. Just check my composition now. What do we think? So we've got a purple stripe there, purple stripe there, purple stripe there, and a purpley stripe there. I might give it a little bit more movement actually, just to add a bit of interest. It doesn't have to be straight lines on this for sure. And I'm glad I did my black because I haven't actually gone over there, over the edge. Um, okay, well that's a lot more black, isn't it, this time round? I did put a lot more black in the bottom of my cup. Still haven't got a lot of purple. I probably shouldn't have put so much black in my cup, actually. A little bit of black and then more purple would have been better, I think. something in there look at this these veins of the orange going through that's unusual every pore is so different i don't know what that is there's always something in my pores i'm just seeing if i can see i don't really want to stretch it anymore because you get these nice sort of puffy formations and then if you go stretching them too much, then they lose that formation and they kind of go zigzaggy. So you just have to be careful. I was kind of hoping just to move some of this off, some of this black off, but I'm going to leave it. Um, I'm going to give it a torch quickly and I'll leave it and then we'll wait and see what happens. It's very dramatic with all that black, so hopefully um, that'll stay. Because on my other one, the yellow and green cells really encroached on the black and I lost a lot of the black. So hopefully this will be pretty and that will keep some of this black. And I've certainly got more purple and magenta in it, which I think Christy will be happy about. Popping lots of bubbles here. I will need to just go and touch up my sides where I've, when the paint hasn't actually gone over the, the sides over here. Then I've got a couple of little areas that need touching up. Not too much, but a little bit. Okay. I actually don't have any black left. I'm going to have to pick up some black off here. And just... Try and fix that corner. Because I didn't actually, oh, let's see, I've got purple in that now. I didn't actually tip over that corner. Oh, now I've got purple into it. Oh, where's some plain black? That's a good thing, I guess, about putting paint on your, your corners. I'm going to have to make up some more black. This is just, it's going kind of, um, 
grayish. I don't think I've got any left in here. No, that's not making it worse. I'm going to have to make up just a tiny little bit of black. Oh, look at the cells popping up as I was doing that. Look at them go, the little yellow ones. Isn't that pretty? Woohoo! I've kept my kept my purple, as I said, purple and magenta. So hopefully she'll be happy with that. Um, I've got some black left somewhere else up here. I've usually always got leftover paint. If I've got a half a cup of paint, I'll always keep it. Look at that, I found some black. It's pretty thin. I probably use this for a swipe at some stage. It doesn't matter if it's not the same paint. It's black, it's just gonna go on the corner. It'll be fine. And a little bit here. So I was just finger painting over here and I haven't quite covered the edge as well as I would have. I just assumed I was gonna tip over, but I didn't. I'll just fill in some of these areas here. Gotta make that paint match, hey. There we go. Seems to be it's more grey, this paint. Must be my global. I might actually have to make up some more of the Liquitex Basics. I can see that is different. Maybe that's not a good idea, actually. I'll make up some black in the Liquitex Basics. I'll pause this. For 10 minutes or so, I'll make, make up some more black, I'll fix up my edges, and I will come back to you. Yay, guys, I'm back. It's been about oh, probably 15 minutes with this painting. Got a few more cells up. It hasn't reacted as much as the last one, which... Is good I'm happy about that because the other one's kind of sitting under there you probably can't really see it but it's under there and uh, the yellow has taken over a little bit more the cells have kept growing so I'm happy that these haven't taken over quite as much and also I didn't stretch this paint as much so I haven't got um, cells on the the right hand side there because i haven't stretched the paint over that edge so that also makes a difference but i really when looking at it i really don't really like the the green the green's really taken over so for christie's painting i'm going to take the green out i'm going to go again with these i'm going to take the green out and i'm going to swap it with another shade of purple because the green just yeah it just doesn't do it for me i don't mind the yellow in it but the green has really sort of taken over. And because I'm trying to do a purple painting for my daughter, I will do another one. And as I said, take the green out, swap it over with another purple and see how that goes. So this one's got a lot more black negative space, which is really nice. And hopefully the cells won't take over too much more. Got some lacing here so I'm still getting some pinks and purples there which is nice it's showing a little bit lighter through my screen than what it actually is it's it is more dark in reality so I've kept that little bit of pink and purple at the top there and then these cells the yellows and the greens there I did pour the yellow in from up high so it has blended in a lot more with the green and then we've got that sort of apricotty orangey color through there which is quite pretty kind of looks like veins so yeah still a really pretty pour you never get exactly what you're going for do you I have no idea what you're going to get but um, it's still really pretty I'm happy with it and I'm really loving all that black negative space and the pops of purple that I've kept in there with the magenta but yeah, we'll go again, more purple, no green. 
I will get a little bit of green because I'm mixing blue with yellow, uh, but that's okay. Just I won't add extra green as well. So we'll see you for that one. Okay, see you soon. Bye for now.